Hi, and thanks for joining me uh, on my YouTube channel. I wanted to do a quick unboxing on a new watch I recently picked up. This is the first time I've opened it, so I'm not real sure what to expect, but it's made by a company called Dan Henry Watches. Um, and honestly, I do not know a lot about them. I stumbled upon this watch on somebody's Facebook page and thought it looked pretty cool and thought I would take a chance with it. But Dan Henry Watches, the website is danhenrywatch.com. And I am a paid customer. This is not, you know, anything through them. It's just more. When I first saw the watch, pulled it up on YouTube, there was nothing out there on it. I couldn't find a lot of information on it. So for the price, I figured I'm going to order one and uh, take my chances with it and also try and do this video just to give future shoppers uh, a little bit more information on how the product looks. So we're going to open it for the first time. And again, I have not opened this yet, so I've got my packing slip. move all this out of the way it looks like I've got like a kind of a cardboard roll and inside of it I don't know if you can see the name on there but it says Dan Henry and it looks like this is I gotta figure out how to open this thing now I just twisted it It looks like there's some tape on it. Maybe I was supposed to peel the, the tape or the, the cover off of it. And then inside of it, it looks like we've got a little kind of a canvas feeling wrap here. This watch, just so you know, so the model is the 1970 and it cost $250. I think that was actually my grand total. There was no taxes, there was no shipping or anything like that. So when you open up, if you can tell, it's kind of this leather bound canvas uh, roll, which I think is kind of cool. I'd rather have something like that than a, um, than a box. Um, Dan Henry International Warranty. It's got a one year warranty on it. And let's take a look at the watch. And this is, again, the model is the 1970. I went with the orange tone dial. There's another one that looks exactly like this, except everything you're seeing in orange, I believe it's like a gray color. Stainless steel case. So real quick, I wrote down some specs on this. Uh, 316L stainless steel, $250. I mentioned that before. It's water resistant to 200 meters. The dial is 44 millimeters. The lug to lug measurements on the watch is 50 and a half millimeters. It has a sapphire coated double domed mineral glass. So it is not a sapphire crystal, but it sounds like it's got some type of sapphire coating on it. It's still got the plastic on it now. I'm not going to take all that off now. Um, that was about the only issue I had, but for $250, I wasn't expecting that it would have a full sapphire crystal on it. And it does have a Seiko caliber. NH35 automatic movement, which is 25 joules, and when it's fully wound up, that should have a power reserve of about 41 hours on it. The case back, if you can tell in this in this video, it's got this cool case back on it. The strap, to me, feels like a silicone, maybe a rubber material, but it's very nice. It's It's got a good thickness to it. And it's nice and soft. It's not stiff in any kind of way. Um, now, how durable it's going to be and that sort of thing, I'm not sure. But, but it definitely feels good. It doesn't feel like a stiff rubber. Uh, the other thing, too, if you just want to keep, a, keep an eye on the watch, I'm going to grab a flashlight because I believe it does have some luminef luminescent features. So if I can cut this, uh, this lamp off. And again, this is just more or less a quick unboxing. I'm going to cut these lights off and we'll take a look at the loom. So I'm going to charge it up here with my flashlight real quick and let's take a look and see see what we've got, if it has any or not. But again, on the website it didn't show any luminescence, but it looked like it should have some. So we'll charge it up and then you can take a look at it in the, uh, in the video. So it looks like that like outer chapter ring and then the inner hour markers and hands uh, do have luminescence on them. So that's the loom. Um, sorry, I'm going to cut the lights back on here. So yeah, so basically, um, you know, like again, I, have, I haven't wound it up and, and, you know, timed it for accuracy and that sort of thing. I believe one of the crowns actually adjusts the inner uh, chapter ring 
and then the other one is to wind the movement so I'll give it a little wind here and maybe I'll give it a little shake and see if we can get it ticking and just take a look at how it how it ticks and there it goes but you know my my just again quick thoughts on this I don't want to make this video too long for $250 I thought it was just kind of a cool looking watch and um you, you know to me you get a lot for the money it's got the kind of this vintage 1970 look which i guess you know obviously is where the, the model name came from um you know but it's got the luminescent features it's got the cool you know case back on the back of it um and again i mean the way it's packaged and and everything that it comes with i mean to me i don't know a whole lot about the brand I, i'm assuming it's pretty new because i hadn't heard from it or heard of it before but uh, but again, for two hundred and fifty dollars, from what I can tell, just on this initial unboxing, I, I don't think I lost any money on this. I think it's going to be a pretty good timepiece and something different to add to my collection um, and we're going forward. So anyway, you know, maybe I'll do another video at a later time once I've taken the plastic off of it and set it and wound it and all, you know, and, and actually started wearing it. Um, real quick, I'll show you just because I know sometimes this comes up just to let you see how it looks on my wrist. I've got a relatively small wrist. But if you wanted to get an idea of how it looks on the wrist, you know, there's kind of an idea of the thickness. And then again, I apologize with the light I have in here, but hopefully that gives you an idea of kind of the wrist shot of it and then the size of it on the wrist. So, anyway, hope this unboxing video helps you out. And again, from what I can tell, you know, in the few minutes we've been together and that I've had a chance to look at this watch. For $250, I think it's pretty cool. So, hope this helps you out, and good luck shopping uh, for your next watch as well. And again, this is Dan Henry, danhenrywatch.com, and the model is the 1970. Thank you very much.